Hi, everyone. It's Jeff Mataro, your Director of Global Services Engineering with NetBrain here at our headquarters in Burlington, Massachusetts. Have you recently purchased our change management, preventative automation, or application assurance module? What about new universal node licenses to support your cloud or VMware infrastructure? Or maybe you're just looking to confirm that your full complement of licenses has been allocated to your system. Well, with any software platform, license management is a critical task to get a handle on so that you can always ensure that the product is deployed exactly as you expect it. With NetBrain, license management follows two key workflows. The first being license activation and refresh, possible in three ways to accommodate any type of environment online update for customers that will allow their NetBrain system to access the internet. It's the fastest way to get your platform online and updating on the regular. Proxy server assisted online update for those environments that need a little extra help reaching the outside network. And finally, fully offline update. For those of you where NetBrain is buried deep in the network or possibly even air gapped with no potential for internet access through a proxy server. This brings me to our second workflow applying license updates to your NetBrain platform, which is exactly what it sounds like. Well, in this video, Wendy Hahn from my deployment engineering team is going to demonstrate these two critical license management workflows to refresh your NetBrain license and to ensure that all of your node and feature licenses are properly allocated. Let's check it out. Thanks, Jeff. I will walk you through each of these methods right now, starting with our online update. First, log into the NetBrain system management user interface with an account that has system management and the tenant administrator privileges. Select the license tab. Click the refresh button. Now we can see the node count is changed. If your NetBrain web server does not have access to the internet, you can configure a proxy server. Click the gear icon at the upper right corner. Select use the following proxy server to access the internet and activate license checkbox. Enter the required information. Click submit button. Then click refresh button to refresh NetBrain license. When your NetBrain web server is not allowed to access the internet, you can refresh your license by sending an email to NetBrain. Click Refresh by email. Generate license file. Attach the file to your email and send it to NetBrain support team. After receiving your email, NetBrain team will fill in the license information on NetBrain license server and generate the corresponding update license file, and then send it back to you. Click Browse to select the update license file that you received from NetBrain and then click Update to refresh NetBrain license. Those are three ways to refresh NetBrain license. Following a license refresh or activation, you must confirm that any configured tenants and domains are properly updated with any additional node purchases. Module change will be applied automatically to the tenant and domain. In the system management interface, select the Tenants tab. In the list of available tenants, right-click the tenant that requires additional nodes allocated, then click Edit. For this system, you can see it has separate pool license mode, manually update the node count value of network modules to add the indicated nodes available. and then click OK. Next, log into the NetBrain end user interface with an account that has system management and tenant administrator privileges. From the main user interface desktop, navigate to the quick access toolbar. Click on the domain name, select domain, select the appropriate tenant from the dropdown. In the list of available domains, right-click the domain that requires additional nodes allocated, then click Edit. Manually update the node count value of network modules to add the indicated nodes available. Then click OK to save the changes. 
After making those changes, log out and close the NetBrain end user interface and the system management user interface. I want to show you another system which has universal pool license mode. From edit tenant page, you simply update license nodes to add a available node count. Click OK. From edit domain page, same thing update license nodes and click OK. Above is how you refresh NetBrain license and apply the license change to NetBrain platform. Thanks, Wendy. And there you have it. With a properly configured NetBrain license, you're fully equipped to take advantage of the best no-code automation platform on the planet, ready to tackle your most problematic troubleshooting issues. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the NetBrain YouTube channel. You'll automatically be notified when we release more videos like these to help get the most out of your NetBrain platform. If you have questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, be sure to leave a comment below. Are you struggling with how to best take advantage of everything that you've seen in our videos and what the NetBrain platform has to offer? We'll drop a note to your NetBrain customer success manager, and they'll be more than happy to get you started with product demos and walk you through all of our amazing enablement opportunities, including our two-day power user training experience, which is a great way to learn how to make an immediate impact in your organization with automation the NetBrain way. Finally, don't forget to visit us at www.netbrain.com to learn all about our latest no-code automation innovations, and we'll see you next time.